Why, hello, I'm Noel. How are you doing? I'm super fantastic. In today's video, we will be using some GT Base to be specific, some GT Base with the infinite lock system. So, Genesis and Apocalypse. As for Genesis, I have prepared Regalia Genesis, which is my favorite Beyblade, and we also have Big Bang Genesis. The purpose of today's video was to have fun using the Big Bang armor, or not to use the Big Bang armor. So I was re-watching the anime Beyblade Burst GT, which is a very fun season to watch. We have some interesting characters, interesting base. I mean, look at Union Achilles, Master Diabolos, and Imperial Dragon. These are all great base, and the infinite lock system was introduced during this season. So basically, we have the base with the locks rotating without bursting, so that makes the base kind of unburstable. Although, infinite lock system have their own weaknesses, and that's when the layer turns red, and we hit the end of Apocalypse, or in Genesis, we have two pointy ends. If we hit here, the base will burst. Although, if we use the Big Bang armor, this super cool armor will cover this weakness. But I was thinking, is the Big Bang armor truly necessary? I mean, in the anime, we got to see Gwyn giving Arthur Big Bang armor, and Arthur was using Prime Apocalypse with the Big Bang armor towards the season finale, and that worked out pretty fine. But we still got to see the space burst. The reason why I wanted to remove the Big Bang armor from Big Bang Genesis was to see how it's going to perform with this weight balance. I mean, if you attach the Big Bang armor to Infinite Lock Base, that will increase the weight, therefore making it powerful, or is it that simple? Because sometimes I've tried battles using Big Bang Genesis without Big Bang armor, and I think this looks pretty nice. It performed okay, and I even felt that it performed better compared to when it had the armor. So, as for Big Bang Genesis, let's remove the armor. As for Regalia Genesis, let's attach the armor, because this is called Perfect Genesis, I think. We didn't even get to see this in the anime, because Gwyn evolved Genesis, and right after that, he kept using Big Bang Genesis, and we didn't get to see Regalia Genesis anymore. So this is like a very rare combo. Interesting, isn't it? And I think this is a very smart option because Regalia Genesis, we actually see this Beyblade burst often even with the infinite lock system. The cool thing is that that's not the case for Apocalypse. We don't get to see Apocalypse burst that often, so we will attach the Big Bang armor to Apocalypse. Let's just call it Big Bang Apocalypse, like in the anime. This will make Apocalypse almost unburstable. Really looking forward to it. We will be using the stock combo for Prime Apocalypse with the Zero Disc dagger frame and ultimate reboot dash and my apologies everyone there's a sad thing that I have to tell you my hybrid driver is broken we still get to see the green light but we don't get to see the end of the hybrid driver rotating therefore accelerating the big way it's really sad since this was one of my favorite drivers and it wouldn't be fair to use this driver broken so as for Big Bang Genesis, let's use Takaratomi stock combo, which is zero Metal Yard. Metal Yard is not really a popular driver, but I personally like how this bay performs with this driver. I'm hoping we'll get to see some fun battles with this bay. As for Genesis, let's stick to the combo that I usually use, which is double zero double O disc with Just Dash. Just Dash is actually a pretty rare driver. And this will increase the burst resistance of Genesis, so I'm also looking forward to this base performance with the Big Bang armor. Okay, so this is pretty much all you need to know before watching today's test battles. I hope you enjoy the battles, but right before we get into the battles, please make sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok if you have an account. I'll leave their links in the description. And yeah, that's it. Let's go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Shoot! <laughs> 